Police officers have already seen a 25% increase in assaults during lockdown. More officers are carrying tasers and more money is being spent on protective equipment. Rick Muir is the director of the Police Foundation and has done plenty of research on the issue. I think police officers are concerned about their safety. I think that there is a concern, um, particularly because of this increase in assaults on police officers that we've, we've seen. Wait. Some athletes attending the competition will feel worried about their safety and it can impact their performance. What it really comes down to is whether the athlete's happy to be there because if they are, it's likely they'll be able to perform well. If they're not happy to be there, the chances are it might make it a little bit more difficult to perform well. This is the sound of what is supposed to be the biggest regeneration project in Europe. The old Oak and Park Road development in West London will aim to deliver 25,000 new homes and create more than 60,000 jobs. Working during lockdown is absolutely terrible. It's the worst and internet connections not working is horrible. We have to work from under the duvet in our bedroom instead of a professional TV studio. I miss professional microphones. Oh well, we should probably get into it. Hello and welcome to the Woke Podcast. In today's episode, we'll be talking about Joe Biden and his diverse cabinet and what it means for the future of politics. We're your hosts. In the UK, one in six adults is affected by hearing loss. The employment rate for people with hearing loss is 65%, compared to 79% for people who do not suffer from any long-term health issues or disabilities. On average, people with hearing loss earn £2,000 less per year than the general population. Isaac's work has also been affected. He works for a charity called Wheels and Wheelchairs. They help children with disabilities. They haven't had a chance to come out with us. And um, usually they have a routine. Um, well, for some of them, they have a routine to come out with us on a Saturday morning in Battersea Park. And for, for them as well, it must be very difficult. Um, especially since they love coming out with us and wheelchair roller skating. Um. I'm not the 